Hey guys, this is Mystical from a cup of death.com bringing you guys a video tutorial on the Roxio HD PVR and how to get the best settings um, for the best video quality that's possible with the Roxio. So let's go ahead and get started by clicking on the uh, Roxio software icon on your desktop that you install the Roxio software and that'll load up the splash screen and then you'll have capture, edit and share. We of course want to go to capture here okay so once it loads up here you can see all your different options here on the left side you got your live stream button and your start capture here underneath the video preview window we got a match of halo 4 for you guys uh, that way you know you just have something to kinda look at as we're talking about everything but the first thing you want to do is make sure you, as your source you have the Roxio GameCap HD Pro selected and then right under that you have your input the HD the Roxio HD PVR has two different uh, hookups you can either connect with component which is the green blue and red connections or you can connect via HDMI uh, you want to make sure if you're wanting the best quality possible you're wanting to make sure you do HDMI as in order to do 1080p on the Roxio you must be using HDMI if you're using component the max you'll be able to do be able to do is only 720p after you select that, your settings here, this is just the video file type. It's M2TS, that's the video container. Uh, I don't believe it's changeable. In fact, that's all I see here listed as M2TS, and I've never seen any other setting for that. Set capture length to, this just allows you to set, once you hit the start capture button down here, um, it just lets you select, like right now it's set at 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, it automatically stops capturing. Uh, quality of the slider here, this lets you change the video bit rate. The higher it is, the better. But instead of using the slider, what I do is I go into the options, um, which you'll see why here in a second. Here under the general tab, you have your profile. You can select between 480p, HD 720p, or HD 1080p. Obviously, we're wanting the best video quality possible, so we're going to go with 1080p, which again, you must be using HDMI in order to do 1080p. And also, make sure on your Xbox, you have your settings set for your TV to 1080p. And then video bitrate. This is the most important part. Um, besides selecting 1080p, you want to make sure this is set at the highest possible setting available. The higher this is, the better your video will look. It's going to increase file size the higher it is, but again, we're talking about getting the best quality possible. The highest you can set the bitrate on the Roxio is 15 megabytes per second or 15,000 kilobytes per second. If you try to go any higher, let's try to put in 20 megabytes per second, click OK, it's going to default to 15 megabytes per second, as you can see there. And then you can also select where you want to save your videos to, um, but you're also able to do that right here in the uh, actual you know window that you're looking at. This slider, like I said, will adjust the video bitrate as well. If you turn this down, it'll change it in here if you go back to options, but I just like using the options. It's easier, I think, to work with. The only other thing you need to worry about is here you have your enhanced picture button. This is just your contrast, uh, your hue, your brightness, your saturation. Basically, the only reason you would need to mess with these settings is if the color on your, um, when you're recording videos isn't quite right, then you may need to adjust these just a touch. Um, however, if you uh, messed it up trying to adjust them or whatever, just put them all back to 128 or just hit the reset button here. And to get back to your information panel, you just click the info button, tells you your time elapsed, the file size created, your record time left, and how much space is left on your hard drive. So that's it, guys. It's really that easy to uh, to set up the Roxio for Mac settings. Um, it's not like some of the other systems out there like the HopHog HD PVR2 if you watched our video on the max settings for that it's pretty simple now granted if you compare the video quality of the Roxio HD PVR 1080p um, video at uh, it only does a recording of 14 megabyte per second video bit rate um, or I'm sorry, the Roxio does 15 megabytes. To the Hopog 1080p, which only does 14 megabytes per second bitrate, the Hopog still actually beats the Roxio, in my opinion, in video quality, um, only because it's a better built device, you know. So the Roxio you save some money on, but it's not going to look as good as some of these other systems like the uh, Hopog HD PVR or Black Magic Capture Card or one of those. Uh, but it still looks absolutely great. And did you just see that awesome stick there? Hope so. And uh, it looks absolutely great either way in 1080p. I mean, it's it's definitely, you know, 
very very nice quality for the price you know I, I believe right now it's $149 on their website you can find coupon codes all over the internet and you can find it even cheaper on some different sites and stuff um, you know it's definitely better than the $200 for the hop hogs or you know black magics you know at the and that's their cheapest ones um, so another epic stick right there just want to go ahead and point that out and that's it guys so uh, if this video helped you please make sure you like it also we're planning on doing uh, one of the biggest requests we get um, on our YouTube channel is people asking us how to uh, record gameplay videos, how to get started, etc, etc. That's why we're putting out all these videos is to kind of give you guys um, tips and tricks on how to do that. Uh, so if you're looking, you know, if you're new to gameplay recording or anything like that, then go ahead and subscribe to our channel because we're going to have a lot more videos coming out very soon that you'll want to check out. Alright guys, this is Mystical signing off and I'll see you in the game.